we look at it, if we look at the, the piece that's actually in it, so we want to move it one, no, I didn't want to twist it, I want to move it. It really wants to twist it. So one thing I can do is I can I can come in and I do want to lock the drivetrain so that I don't inadvertently move something out of out of alignment in that, but then I can hot I can try to hide. Oh, it doesn't like hiding. A piece. So I will ungroup it and then hide that motor. That'll give me a better view of what I'm doing here. I've got my auto tool selected. And drag it into place. That looks right. And so then I'll come back and I'll unhide. It unhid everything. And I'll come back and hide the driving base. So now I've got more confidence that everything is in the right spot and I'll lock the right drivetrain back up. Now we'll add some connectors to put one by six beams. Here. Flip those one by connectors around and we can add a one by six beam right there. That, uh, maybe I didn't want a one by six. That seems bigger than what I wanted, but let's, we can change it later. Let's clone that. Move it over. I really got wonky. Let's see if I can select that one. Move it over there. That looks okay. Uh, one of them is sticking up much more than the other. Oh, this guy is not in the right spot. There. That's better. You can see the rounded part there. That looks good. So what happened? Why do they look different? I must have accidentally hit the plus button or the minus button. One of them is too large. Let's make them equal for now and then if we need to make them shorter or longer later we can. And then lastly we need a some connectors to actually connect uh, the brain in. Um, let's see, we'll need single connector there oh, and you know what I did I oops oof. I added a connector into free space and I don't know where it went so let's see if we can find it before it gets lost uh, so I'm going to hide this motor because I think it went in right behind that motor And I don't see it. So let's hide the other motor. Maybe I didn't add it. Oh well. Uh, let's continue with the pieces. Uh, the brain is going to connect in the middle, so we do want these facing this way. And we actually want this to be all the way into this piece, which we can see there it is, because it's all the way through. And we'll add a connector here, but bring it out in this direction. And so it's connected there, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the brain will be held by eight uh, connections which should be, should be enough. So then we can come down to um, miscellaneous and add the brain into 
the system. This is a big piece. It'll take a second to add. And with the brain in, we'll find a So then, let's see, let's try moving this one over here. And if we look at the, at the diagram, the, the wireless uh, identifier is actually aligned with the right side. So let's see if we can flip this. Yeah, it flipped it upside out. Um, so now, let's try replacing it. That's not going to be right. We can put it there and then rotate it into place. How does that look? Is that close? That looks... That looks right. That looks like the drawing. And all these pieces look like they would be lined up. If we take a real close look at this hole, it's aligned there, this piece. So everything is aligned. And we've finished our driving, the assembly of our driving base. And now we can bring, what we'll want to do is group that whole thing together so that we can move it. And we'll call that our driving base. Now we can unhide our base tile. And we'll, if we lock the whole driving base, we can move it up and out of the base tile using the hotkey M to select our translation tool. And we're, we're sitting a, a centimeter or so off of the base tile. So now we can set up the controller uh, and we'll set this up as an arcade drive with, uh, let's see, we need to know which motor is which. So if we come over to the driving base and we unlock it so we can look at the right drive train. We'll unlock both of these and see if, let's see, let's hide the brain so we can get into the motor. And so this motor is the left drivetrain, uh, but which one is that? So let's see, I will temporarily, I'll delete it just for a second, then I'll undo it so I can tell which one it is. So if I trash that, that gets rid of motor two. So I will undo that. That means motor one is the right motor and motor two is the left motor. I'll lock everything back up so that I can't accidentally drag something off and come back over to Controller Express and make the left motor left and right motor right. And then we can come back to the system and we'll hit run. It compiled, and if it brings up the controller, I think it's ready to drive. I'll test it with A and D. Oh, oh it hasn't dropped yet. The physics engine didn't run. Let me try running again. There we go. That time it fell onto the base, so now I can, oh, shoot, drive it right off the edge. So I can stop it and it'll bring it back. Uh, and I was trying to turn it, which means one of my motors is uh, not set up correctly. Uh, so let's 
I think the right motor is meant to be a reverse polarity. So let's try that and then run again. And we can watch the robot when it drops, it's, it's ready to be controlled. It says it's running, but it hasn't dropped. And I can't control it yet. If I hit run again, compile skipped. For some reason, it's not rechecking. I'm going to stop it. Maybe I didn't stop it before. Stop and then run again. And waiting for the physics engine to kick in and, and have the robot fall. Pause for a second. I've reloaded the model. That's uh, one good reason to save it if you're planning to keep this. And I'm going to try try running it again. It says it's running, and I'm just waiting for the wheels of the robot to fall onto the base. It's one of the reasons to lift the robot off of the base is so that you can tell when the physics engine has applied gravity to the system. Oh, looks like it has dropped. So now I'm going to, I, in the lower right, I can see the, the controller. So I'm going to hit the A button and see if it drives off again. Oh, sweet. So I hit A and it, it turned left. I hit D and it turns right. And then I'm gonna very briefly hit W to see if it moves forward. It does, and you can see it pitch up. That's the, the quality of this physics engine. And so now I, I, I need a bigger field. So I'm gonna stop that. And instead of just one base tile, I'm going to bring, I'm going to add a full field so I can drive around. And I will delete that base tile. And I'll zoom out so that I can see the whole, the whole field and then run this. Oh, I just saw it drop. And so now I can drive my robot around the field just with the A, W, S, and D keys. And if I wanted to, I could add a ball to that field. And uh, let's, let's not use a smart tool to place it. Let's move it over here so that it's a little bit off the field, so it'll drop also. I'm gonna bring my robot up a little bit more so it's a little more obvious when it falls. And then I'll see if I can push that around. So now I'll run, watch them drop. Oh geez, the ball was apparently too much for the robot. Let's stop, zoom out and uh, try that again. They're taking a while to drop this time. Well, so now you see how you can build a driving base and then use that to, to construct either your own game or your own robot and build on a robot to get it to do cool stuff.